Hey guys, it's Bro Cooper and welcome back to my favorite 16, Liverpool Corona, where last time I lost the half uh, picked up wins in the league over, over, um, over Crystal Palace and, and, uh, Norwich, sorry, I played, just played those teams. And yeah, I couldn't remember who I played. Now, as you see, I am about to play Stoke. I shouldn't be about to play Stoke. I had a game against Aston Villa. Uh, played the whole thing. Didn't hit record, because I'm brilliant like that. So, yeah, you missed my 2 0 win over Aston Villa. Marco Roy scored a penalty. He and. And there was also a goal for, for Correa, which was absolutely the top class. I really disappointed I didn't, wasn't recording, and, and so you didn't see that. So, uh, my bad. So instead you're going to see, again, Stoke. So oh, instead you get uh, Stoke, and the second game is against Man City, I guess? I think there's the last game in the group stages of the Champions League in between, but of course, yes, I'm uh, I'm not interested in playing that because I've already qualified. We welcome you to the home of Liverpool Football Club. Comes from Anfield. And so hopefully, we will not forget to record any more games. Nathaniel Klein starts looking to continue his good form at the back. First standard to no win. He didn't miss anything particularly special. The Stoke City team. Here it is for you. Well, except for the grand goal. And now there's no way to show you that particular goal. And they'll play it with a sole striker. It was interesting that once Neymar was ruled out of the Copa America through getting a red card, Brazil rather fell apart. That's how good he is. And it's the speed of the of this player. Something you can't cope. That's a pain in the ass, but uh that's just the way sometimes it works, unfortunately. Possession to the opposition now. Marco Arnautovic. Coutinho. Neymar. Keeps it going. Coutinho. Daniel Klein. Penalty. Never mind, Coutinho is going to score. Yes, he is. I got no as many goals as he did last season, but Philippe Conti will put them in when it matters. The stadium there to place it to the keeper's right. Well, let's take another look at the goal. I gotta give credit to the referee. He whether he meant to or not, he let the play run, and, and I scored. And uh, that's just as good as getting a penalty. Bartlett. That's the way to win the ball back. And so, yeah. Tino yeah, was actually unlucky not to score against uh, Aston Villa. He had a very good shot. Well saved by the uh, Bright Guzan. As Neymar meets 2-0. Neymar and the way he's him. The really get 20th goal of the season already. He is just banging them in. Yo, there is no stopping him with this rate. It's 20 goals, like halfway through the season. 
Considering how much I paid for him, though, I wonder how much he'd be worth now. I mean, I'm not gonna sell him. I'm never gonna sell him unless he hands in a transfer request and I have no what we'll say in the matter. But if I, as long as I have a say in it, Neymar will be at this club for a long, long, long time. Goes for it with a fist. Oh, I'm on the counter. I'm on the counter. It's a free kick. Thank you. I'll take the free kick. <laughs> I can't believe Barnsley. He was fell well for my uh, little. Well. Straight to Butlin! You couldn't hit it at the goal! You hit it. You. You pretty much said, here you go. We don't want to score at this particular time. You absolute numpty. Sure, cross. Now, Sidwell. Shot. Great work from the goal. Yoink. Brace. Barkley again. Yo. Can this guy get a yellow card up here? Please? Come on. That's two challenges. At least tell me he's on his last warning. Well, we will count that as a shot, but it was a very poor one and a long, long. Didn't uh, didn't have the long, 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 effectiveness as the first frame into the box that went completely wide. He didn't, didn't fight anyone. Then again, the first one didn't exactly lead to a third goal either. So. At the right moment. Very good tackle. Yeah. What can you do? Oh, he left one here in the dust. Had to tackle there to concede the corner. I don't know why, but it seems like Bartley is trying to get himself some ball. It just, it just looks like he's intentionally causing trouble. Well, maybe, maybe I'm imagining it. But uh, that's. He almost committed a third foul there, which would have definitely been a yellow card. There's no way he would have avoided the. See the wince on his face. No way he would have gotten away with a third warning. Just was pissed because it was a halftime whistle, not. A uh, whistle to Sam Fied, I uh, fouled him at Nathaniel Klein. Hmm, interesting substitution that they didn't take off Bartley. Like, I'm convinced if I keep attacking down this side where Bartley is, he's gonna get himself sent off. Because he seems intent on keep, to keep one fouling. So, yeah, if he, if he wants to play that game, I can play that game very well. I just have to get the ball so I can play that game. Thank you. And you ran straight into him, Royce. You know, you're supposed to be seeing playing the game. That's not how you play the game. That's, that's not a rule. And I'll take the goal kick. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, no silly Marco Royce. Stoke City going God damn it, Royce. It's the second time you ran straight into somebody. In league football in England. A long time they've had to wait now to try and get a league title again. It's looking good now. It's looking very good indeed. They have played some really confident stuff. Everybody seems certain of their jobs. They've settled into a shape. Who knows? Could be glue at the end of this. Munier, sir. 
It's like the game knows I'm on to Barkley. See? The ball's gone out now. He knows I'm on to him, and now the players are playing like idiots. Jordan Shakiri. Well, if you look at the coaching manual, you don't defend like that. He's got caught too square to his man there. Paul. Stoke City want to make this change. There's more than one way to get the ball to that side of the pitch. Nope. No, everyone's going to lose the ball. Oh. Oh. Professional footballers, my ass. These guys look like they're preschoolers now. What the fuck? Put it in well. He's actually going on. Even my goalkeeper is doing it. I still do that lot further. Yeah, this is going to be... Oh, I was just about to say that they're about to score. Good stop by the goalkeeper. Rodriguez. Well, he's pressed him there. Son of a bitch! Even said well. Hey! Throw in. Jordan Shakiri. Bardsley. Well, the clock's showing uh, nine minutes left to play. Throw to come up now after the ball's gone out. Charlie Adam. Muniesa. Good tackle. Towards Neymar. Very fairly and won the ball cleanly. Correa. This could be it. How's that? Hello, that's a penalty. Rep, are you paying attention? That should be a penalty and a red card. What the actual fuck just happened? That's great hands from the goalkeeper to make that kind of save. I'm trying to process what my brain just saw. Oh, because I must have missed when the ball came onto the pitch and shat there because that was bullshit. That was a penalty. Yeah, I don't care what anyone says, that was a penalty and it was a red card for sure. Cross. What a toss for a referee. You absolute idiot. Can't believe you made such a stupid, obvious mistake. I want to miss, say, I want to give him the benefit of the doubt and say it was a mistake. He, he, you never know what referees in this game. That could easily have been a freaking, that could have easily been intentional. And it's just like, yeah. Uh, they paid me so I give them that. Uh, go get my my bank balance boosters, you know. Go get that referee's back balance boosted. You know how it is. Certainly, you know how it is. It's complete bullshit. <laughs>
still anyone's ball game on whether on who will go through with me to the knockout stages of the Champions League. It's down to the last game. Even Antelic could still will, will technically do it. They beat me and they have to lose. I don't know what kind of what's how the uh, goal difference situation is. Oh, look. Not bad. They could. Act. They could do it. If Inter losing Inter have to win, the difference is only three goals. So they would either have to beat me by two and Inter lose one nothing to Sporting. Actually, if Sporting beat Inter, wouldn't Sporting get it? Um. Ah, oh, I don't think. I don't think Inter can get it actually. I don't see how they could. Hmm. They would need me to be playing Inter. And they play Sporting. Sorry Antelex, there's no situation where you go through. The best thing you could hope for would be somehow if they both lost. But that's that's not going to happen in the world before one of them. The, one of them, if not both, are going to get some points. Because it could be a draw. So, and it didn't matter anyway, because Ayanacho is just like, just gonna destroy you and crush your dreams. Inter Milan won 2 nothing anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. But yeah, Ayanacho, even though I was down to 10 men, Ayanacho was like, yeah. Just gonna score this hat trick, just gonna embarrass. The opposition, job done really. Hey. All right, anyone for anyone for take out? Oh, I get a nice bonus check when I score a hat trick. <laughs> Playing fourth in the league. Of course, as you guys know, this episode we go up on Thursday, which will be the after the Capital One Cup final. I think it's even after our game against City in Bind Week, because I think that's on a Wednesday. I could be wrong about that, so. Hang on, the third. Third Wednesday? Wednesday? Oh no, the third is the Thursday. Is it the third or is it the second? Hmm, maybe it's the weekend. I don't know. I thought it was a midweek game. Maybe I'm wrong. What about that? Maybe I misjudged when we're playing them. I don't know. This is de it's definitely after the Capital One Cup final. Well, well, when this goes up, but Capital One Cup final hasn't happened yet as I'm recording this because, as you guys know, I pre record but these midweek videos because of well, college. But Liverpool got a chance to pay back today. Yeah, and Liverpool back in the big time. That's helped them recruit better players, so they'll fill them in with a good shout here. Big reshuffle for Liverpool. Ricardo Rodriguez so, yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure how the. I'm not sure yet how the Capital One Cup final has or is going to end. It's a bit weird, not knowing what's going on. Obviously, I'm laughing now, but I might not be laughing later. Oh, I might be. Mm. Absolutely elated. Both equally possible, also. You know. We'll see. We'll see what. what uh, we'll see how the Capital One Cup final 
ends up. Of course, I've already proven for before that match happens. If you can hear the vacuum just outside my room, sorry about that. I don't know why it's that loud. I don't know why it sounds like a chainsaw. Throw him to Liverpool. So, uh, yeah, don't worry. No one's getting, no one's wheeling a chainsaw in my house. That's the vacuum. <laughs> if you, if you can hear it, I don't know if you guys can hear it. Very good passing. I think I can hear it, so you might be able to hear it. The he was going to get from the home fans today. Nathaniel Klein. Wasteful pass, unforced error, really. He's done well, cut out the pass there. And it's now with Liverpool. Comes out with a punch to clear the danger. Bam. Coutinho! Oh, just over the bar. Typified the competitive nature of this game, that tackle. It's only a throw in. Yaya Toure, Nicholas Otamendi. Mesut Ozil. It's with Toure. Brian, for a he's in the cell. Bit weird saying Ozo in Man City shirt. His home team have been uncomfortable, home or away. Weird is in it's weird that City haven't bought, haven't thought, hmm, should buy him. No, buy everybody else. Might as well buy him. And uh, just a fair warning to Arsenal fans, you might want to. To be prepared, because that could happen in the transfer window. Because we all know City, he don't give a shit, and they love to buy. I mean, they're not above buying good players from other teams and Raheem Sterling. Penalty. Deflection. That's not a penalty. He took me out from behind. away by the goalkeeper. Bail! Wow. Well, we're halfway through and we haven't yet got a goal to bring to you. Nil nil at that was a very stalemate of a first half. Gonna go straight away in the second. So, more corner, I'll take that. As I was saying, I mean, we've seen C sign some good players from Arsenal before, like Gael Clichy and Sami Nasri, when they won fire for Arsenal. So, uh, and Ozo is playing, you know, he's probably had his best season in an Arsenal shirt. I don't think any Arsenal fan would disagree with that. That can be top assist there in the league. It wouldn't surprise me for City to try and sign it. Well, you can see what they were trying to do. Just a bit too much height on it. It's gone. Especially considering Pep Guardiola is coming in from the Bundesliga. 
So he'd be looking at perhaps German players to get more. He'll be facing Sunderland away from home. Yeah, and I've got a feeling we might see. Oh, Rodriguez. Ah, just as I was about to shoot. And of course, that's a foul. But you couldn't give the foul in the first half. You. Sorry. Looking to get the. Yeah, let's see if I can make a substitution. Bring on Bill John. And. Correa looks a bit tired. I'm going to bring on Ayanacho. See if he can make an impact against his former club. They're going to bring a new player on. Such a current club. Taken from them, they've lost it now. Yeah. Fine. Run, Nathaniel, run. Go. Ah! I'll take the throw. Take the throw. Coutinho. Coutinho. For Manchester City, they've decided to just dig in defensively. Alan Smith. Well, it's a question of holding what they have now for this final part of the match. The manager is making his intentions clear there from the sideline. Trying to find a way through here, probing away. He's put it in well. Laporte blocking it here. Jordan Henderson. Come on, this time. Henderson to Coutinho. Four, four, four. Not into Yaya Torre! Not into Yaya Torre! Zabaleta. Good clearance. Nathaniel Klein. To Henderson. Loses it straight away. Brilliant. Coutinho. Why? Bell. Go on! Come on! He probably gets to the point where the strikers feel they're not going to be able to score. This keeper is in inspired form. Bell. Bell! Yes! Yes! Dropping two points today again. That's the perfect time for you to score your third goal of the season. You Welsh, Welsh beast. Yes. We can understand the celebrations from not just him but everybody in his team. That could be the vital goal here. Liverpool are leading now. Well, we've had some chances. Now, but it's one. Right at the death. Oh, see, you're gonna feel sick. Oh, I'd love if this happens in the uh, Capital Cup final. I'll sneak at the death. death. Yes. From a pacey winger. I'm not sure who that would equate to in the current Liverpool squad because we don't have some of the pace of. Well, no, our fastest winner would probably Jordan Hyde. At the Alva store, Jordan I wins the Capital One Cup for them. Oh, what a story. Be for the answer. Well, that would be. Unless he's. Penalised here. Don't be a red card, please. It's only yellow. It's a yellow card, and. Well, it was a certain yellow card, wasn't it? Actually, this could be a bad idea. This could be bad. This could be bad. Yes, <laughs> hear it. Our boy Bell, come on, blow the whistle for ref. They're not going to score from there. Thank you very much. I will take three points, of course I will. Yes. Whew.
That was horrible. Let's not go through that again, shall we? Guys, this that'd be great, thanks. What yeah, that was an absolute that was absolutely horrible. I hated it. Say that was a bad, bad, bad performance would be an understatement and would be a dis. Honor to bad performances everywhere because that was the epitome of a bad performance, but on the bright side, it doesn't matter because I got three points. Well, luckily, that is the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Smash the like button if you did. Hit subscribe for more. And until next time, I will see you all very soon.